Welcome, we will be using Mac for this demo. In this video, we will cover how to use the Cite While You Write feature in Microsoft Word. Cite While You Write, or CWYW, is the tool that inserts citations into your research paper while simultaneously creating your bibliography. All you need to get started is to have the following two files open at the same time, your research paper in Microsoft Word and your EndNote library. There are two options to cite a reference while you are writing. The first is to cite directly in Word. Put the cursor where you want the note to occur. Then go to the top menu and click on EndNote 20 and insert citation. A text box will appear. Beside Find Citation, search for the citation that you want to insert. For example, search by the author's last name. Select it, and then press Insert. The citation is embedded into the text. At the same time, the bibliography, or reference list, is created at the bottom of your paper. The second option is to cite from EndNote. Click on the reference that you want to insert and then click the Insert Citation icon, which looks like a quotation mark. You can select and or change the outputted bibliographic style that you would like to use. To automatically change all the citations at once in your Word document, go to EndNote 20, select the output style from the drop-down menu next to Style. Here we select Vancouver. The bibliography at the bottom of the paper will also automatically update. You can also click on Select Another Style to see the full list of style options. To remove a citation, you cannot simply delete it from your paper. Similarly, you cannot edit the citation directly if you notice a mistake. This is because there's coding in the program that coordinates changes. To engage them properly, you must use the EndNote editing tool. Let's say that we want to remove this citation. Go to EndNote 20 and edit and manage citations. Scroll to the button on the far right and select Remove Citation. And then press OK. This will remove both the in-text citation as well as its place in the reference list. Once you have finished your paper, you need to take a few additional steps before sending it to the publisher. Most publishers will not accept papers containing codes. The process of stripping codes is irreversible, however, so it is essential to make a copy of your paper first. To remove the coding, click on EndNote 20 and Tools, and select Convert to Plain Text from the drop-down menu. You will be given a warning. Make sure that you save a copy of the original file, and then press OK. You've now completed this video. Thanks for watching.